This is the cheapest plane ticket that I could get, but I have no idea where it's gonna take me. See, there's a website called Skyscanner that lets you set your destination to anywhere and it lets you filter by lowest price possible. So I asked my friend Leroy to buy me 14 tickets for the next 14 days to see where I end up without telling me anything. And now it's time to find out where the heck I'm going next. The flight leaves at nine and my flight number is FR3673. Let's check out the board. FR3673. 374 London Stansted. What? No freaking way. Okay, I love London. I actually lived there for like three months. In all honesty, it was one of the best times of my life. I still have a couple of friends there. The only thing about London is that whenever I get to the UK, I somehow pretend to always have a fake British accent. But now let's just make it through security and hop on a flight to London. Thank you so much. I have made it to London, bruv. Now there's one challenge I have to complete before I leave London, so let's find out what it is. Welcome to London, big boy. So your challenge for today is pretty simple, but probably also pretty hard. You have to convince two locals, so one, two, to give them a tour through their own house. Good luck. Like finding one person isn't already hard enough. Like I'm gonna feel like that New York City apartment guy. Is there any other secrets or anything else that I should see? No, I, mean, I don't have any secrets. But that is a fun challenge. So I know there are some crazy apartments here around London. Some like one million dollars, two million dollars, three million dollars. That isn't even so crazy considering the housing prices here are sky high. So I think it's time to knock on some doors. I am now in Shoreditch, which is by far my favorite neighborhood here in London. And also, this is exactly where I happened to live back in 2019. And I'm right around the corner of my apartment where I lived in for three months back then. And I figured, why don't I just ask the guy who lives there now to have a chat, have a drink, and show me around the apartment. I thought that would be so cool. I haven't been there in like four years it is now. So why not? I got so many great memories there. I had so much fun with all of my friends that I made. So many crazy nights. The owl and pussycat. I've had some incredible nights here and a lot of pints. And here we have it, Camlet Street. I remember so well the first day I got here. I was posing here. My mom took a photo of me. And it was just the start of an amazing time here in London. But now it is time to actually ring that doorbell. And genuinely, I am praying that someone is home. If not, that would be a huge bummer. And this exactly was my window, but someone's got the curtains in front of it. Okay, that is not a good sign. But here's the door, so I'm just gonna ring it. I'm not sure which one it was in all honesty. I think it was number one. I think that makes the most sense because it's the ground floor. Hi, hey, excuse me. Hi, do you, do you live here? Yeah. Oh, amazing. Hi. Sorry to bother you. Hi, my, my name is Chris. Hi, I'm Henry. Hi, Henry. It's nice to meet you. Hey, I have a weird story. I'm doing a YouTube video right now okay. uh, for which I got to convince someone to basically tour me their apartment. And I got a funny story because back in 2019, I used to live right there on the ground floor in that apartment. Oh, okay. Are you living there now? Uh, no, I'm living in uh, this part up here. Oh, this part up here. Do you know who lives there? I've seen a girl coming out uh, in the morning, uh, sometimes uh, she looks like might be a uni student or something. A uni student? It's got right. like a laptop, uh, but I've never spoken to her, but that's the only person I've seen coming out of that flat. Really? Uh, you don't yeah. have to have her number? Uh, no, I don't know anyone in there, no. Oh, yeah. really? Do you mind just opening the door so I can ring the doorbell there? Yeah, sure. And, oh, you're the best. Thank you so much, Henry. I really appreciate it. If this person doesn't answer, I might ring your door if that's okay. I guess here goes nothing. I'm gonna give it one more go, come on. All right, nobody's answering. Now that is a little disappointing, but I do have a plan B. An awful lot of time, so I've got, I mean. We can do it in a couple minutes. So are you, is this all your own? Like, are you living here by yourself? Yeah, so there's like, there's four of us who live here. We've got two bathrooms, so we don't have to share between like four of us. We don't have like a living space or a sofa or anywhere to like sit and mm. chill and hang out together. We've just got this shared kitchen space. I pay 9.50. Um, 950 pounds? Uh, yeah, per calendar oh. month, but that includes all bills. So I'll just show you my room. Excuse me, not like made my bed. I put this on like a mount so I can swing it around. 
Hey, so you got yourself a nice little TV. Yeah, so Thank yeah. you so much. Thanks I truly appreciate it a lot. Yeah, good to meet you, Chris. Thank yeah, you. for real. I'll take off now and try to find someone else who is not to show me their mansion. I am very glad I that I just got the first out of the two house tours done. But what I will definitely do is go and grab my favorite food here in short. <laughs> I queued for over 20 minutes, but these salt beef bagels with mustard and pickle are just a die for. Lunch is done. That was incredible. Now I got two concerns right now. Number one, obviously being that I have to still find another person to tour me their apartment here. But number two is that I'm basically running out of clean underwear and t-shirts and socks. Because if you're new here, I started off the challenge in Amsterdam, went to Dublin, then flew to Paris, then Marrakesh, then Milan, and now I'm in London. And I'm doing this for 14 days straight to see where I end up. And I only got this one bag with me. So at this point, I do have to find a laundry service to get myself some clean underwear. And a nice clean pair of socks would be very much appreciated as well. Any chance I can do my laundry and for you to put it in the dryer and then I come back after a couple hours? Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow, I, I got, I'm flying out tonight, no, basically. because tomorrow. it's very busy today. Okay, the laundry service that I always use when I live there is not having me today. Quick update on the apartment tour. I have a friend, her name is Bibi. Went to high school with her. We know each other for a super long time now. And she and I hung out a lot here in London. And she still lives here. So she just reached out to one of her friends who lives in Notting Hill. So I got my fingers crossed big time for that one. That would be amazing. Nothing Hill is one of the most iconic neighborhoods here in London. And it would be so cool for me to see one of these houses from the inside and complete the challenge, obviously, so that I can focus on my laundry for a second. I, I, I smell pretty bad, not gonna lie. And this is where I messed up. I found a hotel to do my laundry, but after five days of nonstop traveling, I fell asleep in the lobby and woke up when it was dark outside. It is a quarter past 6 p.m. right now. When I started this challenge and also this channel in general, I told myself one thing beforehand, that I was always going to be honest, never lie to my viewers, and just be super open about how I was doing all of this. I am just so freaking tired right now. I feel like my body is about to give up. I've had hardly any sleep over the past couple of days. I've had to do so many things all at once. But right now I've only had one house tour and I need a second one. I just don't really know how to do it. My social battery is dead. But on the other side, I've also told myself one thing. I was not gonna give up. So I'm not gonna do that now either. I just refuse to do that. So I'm gonna go back to my old apartment here. Pray to God that there's someone in that apartment and then be the nicest I can possibly be and try to convince them to let me in. And if I do that, I gotta travel an hour and a half back to Stansted to the hotel that I got because tomorrow morning, my flight leaves again at 8 a.m. Go again, come on. Oh freak, there are no lights on. Come on, come on, come on. Number three, where is number one? I don't know, I think it's number three. Yeah, it was number three, come on. No one is home. And having to survive without money for 24 hours is gonna be so much freaking worse. It's a Saturday night, middle of nowhere in London. Weirdest sh shit ever. You know, wait, I see people. I'm, am I, okay, I'm just gonna be weird. I'm, this is gonna be such a weird question. I am, and I'm sorry if I'm bothering you in any way. Okay, good. Hi, my name is Chris. This is going to be such a weird, weird thing to do. A house tour. A house tour, just to show me their apartment or something. Just running out. I'm, I'm going to be five minutes though. Are, for real? Yeah, I'm just running to the cash machine. Are, are you kidding? But my apartment's not that attractive. I really, really don't care at this point. And it I is. I have a roommate that I can't show you his room. That is so. totally fine, Paul. It is. It, are you okay with me filming you? Yeah, yeah. Paul, thank you so much. That would actually be. Amazing because I'm not only <laughs> running out of energy but also out of battery on my camera. Come on, because there's nothing to see. This is why I, might, I don't mind <laughs> inviting you in. Hey, you got yourself a nice flare right here, Paul. They're nice big rooms, right? Yeah, I was about to say this is bigger than my room was back in 2019 when I lived yeah. here, around here. And that's my kitchen. Oh, that is nice. That, that's a solid kitchen, though. That's a that's solid right. kitchen. Milk and sugar. Uh, give me the full on British experience, Paul. Okay, just milk, no sugar, man. I am just very grateful to have an English tea <laughs> together with you, Paul, and there to you finally finish off my day in a, in a good way and not having yeah. to 
survive without money for 24 hours, which Cheers. are the stakes of these challenges. Cheers to that. Man. Cheers. Cheers to that. Bruv. <laughs> Bruv. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not an East Ender. Yeah. I will give you a hug. Thank yeah, you. Can I give you a hug? Is yeah, that okay? Of course you can, man. Thank nice you to meet so you. much, man. You're more than welcome. You're an absolute legend. Thank you're you so welcome. much for saving the day. Oh, uh, you're welcome. And it was such a ple pleasure meeting you. Oh my God, guys. Holy frick. I cannot believe just ha this just happened. I am officially out of here. Get me in this taxi ASAP. Oh my God. That's me. Oh my god. Today was day five of taking the cheapest flight every day for 14 days. And if you've made it this far into the video, you've definitely seen it. It was a struggle. I felt super tired. The lack of sleep definitely caught up on me. And in all honesty, I just wasn't as creative as I would have been if I had a solid eight hours of sleep. But I, I just guess that is also part of this challenge and what makes it so hard. Luckily, Henry and Paul saved today and I'm very grateful to them. It was very cool to meet them and the fact that they let me into their house was very nice of them. It is just past nine o'clock now, so it's really time for me to get a couple of hours of sleep in because at 8 a.m., as you can see, my next flight leaves. And again, I won't have a clue where I'm going until I get to the airport. And just in case you're new here, this isn't just a one-off video. I'm taking the cheapest flight every single day for 14 days straight to see where I end up without knowing anything. So if you enjoyed this video, I strongly suggest you watch this one too.